The sample apps that I'll be building throughout this course are for a fictional company named Hansel and Petal. I'll be building a product catalog that gets its data over the web from a web service. I'll be starting with a very simple version of the app named Flower Catalog that I've imported from the Getting Started folder of the exercise files. After opening the project, you can open the main activity class from the Package Explorer view. In the project's main activity, I'm loading a layout named Activity Main. The layout has a relative layout container and a text view control. The text view is designed to scroll vertically. It has a scroll bar attribute set to a value of vertical. And in the main activity class, in the onCreate method at line 21, I'm calling a method called setMovementMethod and passing in a scrolling movement method object. This will enable the vertical scrolling. The menu for this app has a single item with an ID of action due task. And when it's selected, I'm calling a method named update display. And that method appends a value to the output object. That's the text view. I'll show you the initial behavior running the app in an emulator. I'll be testing all of my apps in this course on the emulator, but if you prefer, you can test the apps on a physical device, as long as the device has internet connectivity. When I click on the action bar item, I see text displayed, and I can click as many times as I like. Now, to see the effect of the vertical scrolling, I'll go back to my code, and I'll go to the onCreate method, and I'll add a for loop after the existing code. I'll iterate through the for loop 100 times. And on each iteration, I'll call my update display method, and I'll pass in a literal string of line, and I'll append the counter variable of i. I'll save and run that code, and as the app loads in the emulator, 100 lines of text are displayed. And because vertical scrolling is enabled, I can click and drag up and down to see all of the text. Here are a couple of other important things to know about this project. I'll open the Android manifest file and show you that I'm only supporting Android SDK versions 14 through 19. SDK version 14 is Android 4. So I'm only writing code that's guaranteed to work on the most recent versions of Android. When you work with network communications, as you must do when you're working with web services, you'll be dealing with parts of the SDK that have been around for a long time. But to simplify the UI tasks in this course, I'll stick to these most recent versions of the operating system. Also notice that the app package is set to com.hanselandpedal.catalog. I'll use that package name throughout the entire course for every exercise file. So when you load a new exercise, it'll overwrite the old exercise on your emulator or your physical device. And so that's the beginning project. And now we're ready to learn how to work with web services from Android apps.